welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell by the title today i'll be doing a review on the glamour liz practice hand these are her silicone hand um if you would like a live unboxing review i already filmed that so make sure you check that out if you want to see my genuine reaction because i was so impressed but um, this is what the hand looks like. This is the shade Beyonce. I also have a clamp for it as well. So you make sure you actually check out the unboxing so you can actually see everything that I got from Glamourless. Like I said before, amazing customer service. I could not have asked for a better practice hand because it's so convenient. So if you are looking for an affordable but still realistic looking um, practice hand make sure you go check out glamour liz so i haven't glued the nail beds or anything like that so it's just basically straight from the canal so if you don't know why this practice hand is so good it's because you can just slide this out as soon as you finish with your set so i'm just gonna go ahead and round off the edges i'm sorry if you can hear my my chair squeaking in the background i just i don't know what to do with it at this point but please don't be offended okay so you can see it's lifting a bit but i just need to hold this down and just round off the edges because i want to glue some tips but I'm just doing this really lightly. I'm just gonna pull the nail out a little bit. I think that would make it easier for me to file and then I'll just push it in when I'm done. Also be careful when you're filing around your silicone so you don't tear it or anything of that sort. just going to rough the natural nail plate I personally like to etch my nails if I was doing a client. So I just add that little extra roughness to the nail bed, just so that the acrylic could stick better. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I like to etch the nails. So these are the tips I normally use for all my clients. All my clients know me for these. Um, they are clear stilettos. Okay, these are by, these tips are actually by Glitter Planner. I get all my stuff practically from there. I also have it in the tapered squared shape. So yeah, this is the pointed almond and this is the tapered squared, as you can see that. So I'm using the pointed almond today because I've actually run out of so many numbers. I definitely need more. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> okay, guys, let's let's get some tip glowing. All right, I'm just using some normal nail glue. This is by Salon Express. snapped so what i will do the tapered square i think the tapered square would fit so much better guys i just don't have enough of them anymore i've actually run out 
So I'm just gonna have to finesse. Okay hey guys, I'm just gonna snip my sides. I also do this for my main, for my clients as well. They know this. But sometimes if it don't fit, you gotta make it fit, you know? There you go. Perfect. Perfection. This is a number six. So you see, it just, it just makes sense. Like there's no bubble underneath. You don't have to add any more glue if you just snip the sides, honey. Because when you snip the sides, it has no choice but to focus on that middle area. Okay, let me try that again. Okay guys, you can see that I snipped my sides and let me put it. See, it's almost like a half circle type thing. So we're gonna put some glue, just a dime, not that much. around the tip. Okay, see that? Boom, okay? So even if you file, your sides are still leading into, okay? remember a tip is just an extension it's not the strength it does not have to be all the way up here you don't have to like use it as a strength like your acrylic should actually do the job it's just there to lead your nails out okay so we're gonna file like I said before just hold down your cuticle area or if you don't want just don't put pressure You don't need that much filing. Very minimal filing and as I'm holding down the nail bed, I can really get that corner. It's easy, easy, easy lemon squeezy. guys so next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my safety bit which is this one so it's basically um, got a round tip so you don't cut your clients cuticle but I like to use this to file down my tips like the area that connects to the natural nail so basically around zoom in a little bit further. you can see that so all I'm gonna do is file this down. Because like I said, 
your tip is just an extension it's not strength okay so you can actually file this down to however low you want it and remember your glue is a layer as well And the reason why this is a very valuable step, <laughs> in my opinion, is because when you're doing a clear set, you want the tip to be as see-through and as seamless as possible to match the natural nail bed. So you don't want any bumps or anything like that effing up your acrylic. It will just look seamless. 